another conflict is brewing in the Indo-Pacific theater. For some time now, we have been telling you, the next major war is going to be in the seas. Today, all signs point to it. You see, China's neighbors are banding together to contain the dragon. On one side, you have an expansionist China. And on the other side, you have all the countries that China has angered with its territorial claims. The question is, are we heading towards the biggest naval confrontation of our times? Let's find out. And let's start off with Japan. The country has launched its first full aircraft carrier since World War II. You heard that right. It's called the Kaga. It used to be a helicopter carrier only, and now it can deploy the F-35 Lightning II stealth jet. It has been modified and upgraded with an eye on China. It's not to be taken lightly. This marks a significant milestone in Japan's military modernization. It heralds a new era in Japan's defense capabilities. As far as the broader strategic interests are concerned, the upgraded Japanese aircraft carrier will be a game changer amid the rising China threat. And as concern grows that China will invade Taiwan before mid-century, neighboring countries are coming together to prepare for what could potentially be the biggest naval confrontation. You see, almost all of China's neighbors, barring North Korea and Russia, are forming an alliance against it. A ring of fire, if you will. On, on the 7th of April, the United States held its first joint military drills with the Philippines, Japan and Australia. It was basically a demonstration of collective commitment in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific. The war games took place within the Philippine exclusive economic zone in the South China Sea, where China lays sweeping claims. Of course, Beijing did not like it one bit. They also conducted joint air and sea combat patrols in undisclosed areas of the South China Sea. The official statement, in fact, also indicated that the patrols were conducted in response to the joint naval exercises by the U.S. and its allies in the South China Sea. You see, China has unilaterally tried to lay claim on almost the entire South China Sea. This is despite an international tribunal ruling in 2016, which said that Beijing has no legal basis for its claim on this vast waterway. But China has ignored that decision. Over the years, this territorial dispute has led to several skirmishes between Beijing and the Philippines. These skirmishes have particularly flared up since last year. Its Coast Guard vessels have pummeled Philippine ships with water cannons. They have caused a collision between opposing ships, injuring several Filipino sailors. These incidents have prompted the U.S. State Department to publicly remind China that the U.S.-Philippine Mutual Defense Treaty applies to these contested waters. Of course, China blames the U.S. for inflaming these tensions. Beijing says Washington is meddling in the disputes by backing Manila and by undertaking joint patrols with the Philippines. But the U.S. sees this as an overreaction by China. In recent times, Washington has been strengthening its ties with its Asian allies. In fact, U.S. President Joe Biden and the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will sit down with the Philippine president today in Washington. What's on agenda, you ask? China. The trilateral meeting will see the leaders hammer out coordinated responses to China's increasing belligerence in the South China Sea. They will discuss China's increasingly dangerous incursions in the Philippine waters. And that is one of the reasons for the meeting. According to the White House officials, the U.S. is very concerned over what China has been up to. There is no silver bullet, but Japan and the U.S. believe that to deter Chinese adventurism, ties need to be significantly upgraded. And that is what they have done. On Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden and the Japanese Prime Minister Kishida unveiled their country's biggest ever upgrade in defense ties. Make no mistake here, it's part of broader U.S. efforts to counter China's aggressive actions in the Indo-Pacific region. During a pomp-filled ceremony honoring the visiting uh, Prime Minister, Joe Biden said that the U.S. and Japan would create an expanded defense architecture with Australia. They will participate in three-way military exercises with the U.K. and explore ways for Japan to join the U.S.-led coalition with Australia and Britain. 
And this way, U.S. and its allies are building an armada against China. Is a U.S.-China war then imminent? And if yes, just how primed is China for war? Under Chinese President Xi Jinping, Beijing has amassed ships, planes, missiles. It's all part of the largest military buildup by any country in decades. Reports say that China is also stockpiling fuel and food. It is trying to reduce vulnerability of its economy to sanctions. What do all these steps signal? These are steps one might take in preparation for war. And Xi Jinping has said China must prepare for worst case and extreme scenarios. All of this coming as China has become increasingly forceful in dealings with its neighbors, including the Philippines, Japan, Taiwan and India. No wonder then U.S. officials believe the risk of war is only rising. According to the CIA director, William Burns, in fact, Xi Jinping seeks the capability to take Taiwan by 2027. Of course, a lot of experts also believe that the risk of Chinese aggression is overblown, but the warning signs cannot be ignored. And there can be no plan to counter the China threat without India. And the U.S. has also lauded India's key role in preventing a revisionist challenge of the status quo. A senior U.S. administration official said on Tuesday that India and the U.S. are working together more closely than ever before in the Indian Ocean and the Indo-Pacific. He said that the U.S. sees engagement with India as central to everything it does on the global stage. As far as where India fits into this wider network that the U.S. is building in Asia against China, any Indo-Pacific strategy cannot succeed without India. That much is clear. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.